Hi everybody, this is Diane. Look at this, I have five journals all done and ready to go. When you see this video, they will be in my shop. And you can follow the link below to go to my shop and select the journal that you want. They will each have their own listing. Before I get into showing you these though, I've been wanting to promote my niece's shop. My niece recently opened a shop. She is an artist and she works uh, as a graphic designer right now, but she really is an artist. And not that a graphic designer is not an artist, but she loves to do art. And she opened an Etsy shop and is now selling prints of her art. She gave this one to my parents and so I um, borrowed it from them so I could show it to you. She only has three prints available in her shop right now. But I'm sure she will be adding more. Her name is Grace Deming and her um, Etsy shop is Grace Deming Art and I will link that below so you can um, see that. This is the most popular one. It's called Scarf Girl but she has a couple more. One is called Boy Crazy and I think the other one is called Stitches and it's really cute. Um, it would be cute for um, Halloween decor or anytime if you like that sort of um, decor but it's it's not gruesome or anything. It's It's a cute girl's face. Anyway Grace Deming Art, and I'm very proud of my talented niece. And I wanted to share that with you. Now I want to share with you these journals. So these are the Stash Buster journals that I've been working on. I have five of them, as you can see. They are all made with um, eclectic book covers. Um, most of them are vintage textbooks. In fact, I think they're all... Well, maybe this isn't a textbook. It's house wiring, but... They're instructional books anyway. And um, there is no theme. All of the elements within the books are eclectic because it's a stash buster journal. So I just pulled out all kinds of things from my stash. And we did some ephemera videos, uh, making some ephemera to go in these journals. And there's just all kinds of stuff in there. So I'm going to go into detail, a little more detail on one of the journals. And the rest I will... Go, uh, give detail as needed, but I'll just flip through them. Each one has a fabric tie that I made. Most of them are pieced together. I think there's one that is a one full length. So this one has three pieces in blues and reds to match the cover. This is a science experiment book. I added this piece of vintage braid trim and a piece of wide blue rickrack. And I used this bright fabric for the spine. It incorporates a lot of the colors from the cover and it's just really fun. And I love this cover. The cover was in, in good condition. Uh, the I made a new spine. The spines on all of these books are created with some thick chipboard, some Tyvek, and fabric. And I added a uh, scrapbook paper to the end paper. And then this was a vintage. It's not exactly a book plate, but I'm using it as a book plate. It says um, from the kitchen of. But you can write your name in there and the date. Whatever. So this is... Um, scrapbook paper and a pocket that is created with sewn together scraps of scrapbook paper. And I created this journaling card with cut off piece of scrapbook paper and I have a large supply of these um, floral, vintage floral illustrations in my, sh um, in my stash. I added a scrap of lace and a little merchandise tag so I used quite a few of the merchandise tags. Um, in making ephemera. There's some lined paper. I used a lot of children's book pages. I used some sacks that have been in my shop for a while. This was a very long sack uh, apparently used for um, in an art store when people purchased paintbrushes. Someone sent me this sack in a Happy Mail and I just love it. It is so cute and I've got to get my bristles on these. Um, anyway, I glued, I cut it in half because it was extremely long. So the, another journal gets the other half of it. And there's a handwriting card and I had punched some tab, 
tabs with my tab punch out of some colored index cards and I use them on quite a few of the cards in the journals and there is a little stationary postcard. There's wallpaper in here. All of the wallpaper pieces that I used as pages came from Jeannie in a recent Happy Mail. Thank you so much Jeannie. It was fun to be able to start using these right away. There's a fabric cluster. This is a postcard that I got from um, Uppercase Magazine. When you order their magazines, um, they have postcards advertising other of their items in the books. And they're really beautiful postcards. And this is just a stationary postcard, a vintage one. It's really pretty. This is This was in a vintage typing textbook that I got at a flea market and it was someone's practice page and it was kind of wanted to crack or not exactly crack but split when I folded it so I reinforced it with washi tape on both sides. There's some scrapbook paper I folded it to make a flap. This is a post-it note that opens up and you can write on it. I sewed a vintage um, playing card there. This was from a book about using pens and pen nibs. Just got a little blue bit there. And there's a fabric flip. Just some pink copy paper, another children's book page. It's so cute. I love the bright colors. I love the little pigs. And the chickens. Or turkeys. Maybe they're turkeys. There's a log book page. This is a gro uh, menu page with a grocery list on this side. I made envelopes for the center of each signature out of book pages. Many of them were children's book pages, some of them were atlas book pages, and this was from a just a large book with black and white pages. And I put a couple of journaling cards in each of the envelopes. It's the other side of the menu page. This is just a little pocket. I had taken um, scrapbook pages, um, cutoffs, and um, just sewn them together like I did here. And they were in my stash, so I cut them into the sizes I needed. This was a little scrap that was cut off of one, and it made a cute little tiny pocket. And I just glued a page from an old address book there for journaling. And tucked a couple of cards in there. And there is a playing card sewn to that scrapbook paper. This is the back side of that wallpaper. I thought it was interesting that it was a dark gray background, or yeah, the back. Usually they are white. And this is a journaling card that somebody sent me in a Happy Mail. She made this, took this journaling card and made a little pocket on the front and had these little images tucked in so you can write on those and when I glued it on the page I left it open and tucked in another journaling card. And I used a bunch of my Quizmo cards and there is a Court Whist card which I think is some sort of bridge I'm not sure but somebody sent me these a long time ago and I got a bookmark in a Happy Mail, so I included one of those here. The second signature, we have scrapbook paper again with a scrap of wallpaper and just a piece, a letter from a scrapbook paper. And I received this tag in a Happy Mail. So I tucked that in the pocket. This just has a question mark from this same scrapbook pa paper pad. And I sewed a fabric ruffle on it. And this is a page from the little golden book, Nurse Nancy. I added a Scattergories game card with a little cluster of some punches, punch outs that I did with um, scrapbook paper scraps. And it's a little pocket back here with another letter and a digital print of some feed, uh, flower seed packet label. And those digitals of, this, of the flower packets are in my shop. 
This is a craft paper that you can write on, and there's a vintage stamp. Um, it's attached to the envelope piece, and it's canceled. This is a really cool page. It's from a um, municipal book. I used the book cover for a junk, uh, glue book a while back, but I love some of these pages. These, it was head maps and things to do with towns. You know, it's a municipal book, but it also had a lot of sponsors advertisements in here for things that a town would need to purchase. This one is for road signs and parking signs. Another fabric cluster. This is green copy paper with some colored um, Queen Elizabeth stamps just sewn across the top. Children's book page. This is a pocket that I made from a little an old linen calendar that you would hang on the wall in your kitchen. And just a little digital that I have in my stash and little colored flashcard. This is a photo from a yearbook from the 1950s or 60s, probably. I don't know. It was a college, um, girls' college yearbook. And there's a scrap of scrapbook paper here. I cut it along the zigzag um, when I cut it and sewed it on with a fancy stitch. This is wallpaper, children's book page. Here is a map page envelope with the cards tucked in. And most of the map envelopes have were decorated with these numbers that are house numbers or mailbox numbers that were adhesive. And maybe another embellishment is added. And I used some chenille scraps to make clusters or tags, or tabs, I mean. There's a guest check, and some scraps of paper were used to make that cluster. It's another post-it note with a that flips open, and you can write on it. And a fabric flip that my friend Sarah made. I used quite a few of her fabric flips that she had sent me. Some of them, a lot of them were wide, too wide, so I had to trim them. I'm pretty sure I had to trim this one, but I made them work, and there's another yearbook photo there. And the Nurse Nancy page with more stamps attached to envelopes. There's a piece of fabric ribbon back here and a playing card and a tuck, uh, journal, journaling card tucked in there. There's uh, one of the pockets again with the sewn together scrapbook, sc scrapbook paper scraps and a vintage um, postcard from Current. And I had taken some colored index cards and just corner punched them to make them more interesting. And there's a colored flashcard. Here's another scrap of wallpaper and I sewed on this fabric triangle that was in a batch of vintage fabric scraps that were cut for quilts. And you can see I used a fancy stitch there. I had this in my stash. It was just a tag shape that I cut from a file folder and I had Mod Podged this poppy neck into it. The final signature, we have scrapbook paper again, a cluster, fabric cluster, and this is a really fun card. I had a set of these from a flea market and they have characters from the, um, it's from the HMS Pinafore operetta by Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> I could remember. So this is the crew of the HMS Pinafore. And another journaling piece that I made with some leftover pieces. Here I have a paper clip that I made, or I embellished with this photo, image of a slide advertising film or something. There's a colored index card that I stamped and this little $20 bill that I cut from gift wrap, just for fun. You can write on the back of it.
This is from a children's activity book, or it was something a teacher would use, make copies of it. I'm not sure, but it had a lot of these really great images with the dark, solid lines for cutting out. I just love these images. They just remind me so much of um, Sunday school and school, and I just love them. Um, and here is a little flash card that I sewed on as a pocket, and I added this florist hang tag, and I just embellished it with a postage stamp. This is from a um, it might be from that electric electricity book. I'm not sure. This is from a vintage photo album. It's really nice, dirty paper. It's got a pinked edge at the bottom. Some tracing paper. This is from a cloth children's book. I had bought, bought this at a flea market a few years ago and it, all the pages were loose that had come apart and I had to dig through the box to find the pages. I don't think it was the complete book, but I got whatever pages were there because I just love them. So instead of hoarding them, continuing to hoard them, I used at least a couple pages in these books. Here's another of Sarah's flips on a yellow um, copy paper. This is doubled, isn't it? Hmm. It's the casing from a pillowcase or a sheet. I didn't even realize that. Here's another ad from that municipal book, and it's for parking meters. Children's book. It's a Mother Goose book. This is a page from a Ness and H. Green Stamps book. It has stamps on both sides, so it's pretty sturdy. And I just sewed it down this side and across the bottom. Added this stamped label that you could write on. And then I had edge punched this index card, and I tucked it in there. This is a really pretty... Um, wallpaper that had come in that book of wallpapers that Jeannie sent me. I think you'll get a better look at it on the other side. And the next envelope is a map with a couple cards. I had glued the envelopes together last night so I left the cards out while the envelope dried. This one has a printable of an old receipt and another number. Well, I pretty much covered up that wallpaper, but you can see it looks like pretty blue tiles with silver grout. This is um, an image that I stamped on some very vintage paper. So the image isn't very crisp because the paper was dry because it was so old and it absorbed ink, but I love the way that looks. Another S&H green stamp book. I just glued it to the page as sort of a background for this pocket. And this is a vintage Rolodex card and I stamped these guys on there. And it's a little pocket. This is one of the journaling cards that I embellished on a video. And just a playing card in another digital. Some chenille there. Oh, here's the other. This, this book got both pieces of that paintbrush bag. So this is the bottom part of the paintbrush bag. And it's got another tag in it. and a yearbook photo and another journaling card. There's another flash card and it's sewn on as a pocket with a playing card in it. There's a playing card sewn on as a pocket and a card, a set of, this was from a set of cards about art and artists. And this is a Project Life, Life card. I had stamped this colored it with Distress ink and cut it out. It makes a nice little accent on a Project Life card. And there's one of the art cards that I used as a pocket and another of the stamped images on the vintage paper. That one didn't bleed as much. And stamp a punched card. On the back is a pocket. This is from a scrap of cardstock that I've had for a long time. It's an old authentic or um, graphic 45 page or set and I just rounded one corner and glued it on as a tuck spot. There's a journaling card or photo card and a library card. It was interesting. I ordered these 
library cards and the blue ones didn't they were missing the type at the top that would have the book and the author and all that stuff up there um, and I put my signature stamp on the back well it's the stamp that I write my signature on so this one is called science experiments I'll go through the other ones more quickly this one is writing and it's a college book the tie is pieced together red pieces polka dots and gingham I collaged on the front and back of this for a couple of reasons it didn't have any illustrations and back here was scratched quite a bit so I really wanted to cover that so I just did collage all over I used the same fabric for the spine on this one and some multicolor rickrack so this is vintage fabric these are all vintage fabrics this is probably not but the trim is and there's a little Mickey Mouse card and a teeny tiny playing card I left the end papers as they were because they looked nice and I added sorry I added this um, book plate with images with an image from Dinotopia children's book I got that, those book plates in a happy mail and there's some rickrack here we start off with some wallpaper from Jeannie again and it looks like it's a stone wall and it's got some little like mica flex it looks like or what what you might see in in um, granite or is that what I'm thinking of anyway some stones have shiny minerals and that's what it looks like there's another of those HMS pinafore cards this is little buttercup and a postcard this is Kate Greenaway wrapping paper this um, little sack has a Japanese illustration on it I got that in a happy mail this should have a tab on it these are the tabs I punched out of colored index cards someone asked me if I dyed the ombre colored index cards and I did not they're white on the back I purchased them that way I think I got them at Walmart probably during a back to school time but I've had them for a few years and there's a journaling piece tucked in there this is a piece of a vintage cloth measuring tape it was just lying on my desk all curled up and I picked it up and added it to this little piece of a baby vintage baby's coverlet there's the map pocket there's a pocket here it's a round playing card I think I had it so that you could see the color from that side. This is the tracing paper with um, scrapbook pocket added to it and a ruffle sewn to the pocket. I added a plant card and I did not, every journal was supposed to have one of those so I'm going to make sure I put put one with the journal I just showed you though that's the one I just finished I did two of them finished two of them yesterday so maybe the other one doesn't have one of these cards either but it's just a plant card I collaged uh, some paper you can write on on the back and put a chenille tab and I did have a paper clip here there it is fell onto my lap and then it fell on the floor so 
it's just a little tag sewn on as a tuck spot. This is a printable. It's got a piece of old linen attached with some eyelets. And that's a Project Life card that I embellished. That was in a video that I just did recently. The Quizmo card. The second signature starts out with a Mother Goose page and a little embellishment of fabric. This paper clip was made by someone, but embellished by somebody and sent to me in a happy mail. It's got a stamped index card and a piece of that money from the wrapping paper. This is wrapping paper. This is a wallpaper collage. A fabric flip that Sarah made. It's got chenille and a yo-yo. Another um, loyalty stamp page with one of my stamped tags, uh, labels, and a stamped index card wallpaper here. I love this book page. It's got that beautiful fish on it. Here's a sack. It's got a photo from an old yearbook on it. Just added that little digital label and a time card. A music, a children's music instruction book. This is a piece of that old uh, photo album page and a uh, I think it's a nightgown that I cut from an old Montgomery Ward catalog. Another of Sarah's fabric flips. There's an Andy Warhol stamp up there. This is a piece of fabric. It was Dolly Dingle paper doll fabric. I've had it for many years, and uh, I don't. This might be the last piece that I had of it. I do have more Dolly Dingle fabric, but it's different. That somebody sent me in a Happy Mail, so I'll have to start using that. There's some of the Queen Elizabeth stamps up there. Another yearbook photo. is wallpaper and I just stuck in a paint chip that you can play around with and a large colored index card and on the back of this one is a pocket sort of a library style pocket that I made with scraps of scrapbook paper and it's actually got two pockets in it so a stamped index card goes in the back I can get it in there and a project life card and a digital flower seed packet so this one is called Writing. I'm going to have to go faster for the last three. House Wiring Simplified. I love this illustration. <clears throat> I love all of these books. And for this one, I contrasted the technical look of the front with a feminine um, spine fabric. And it's made from an old pillowcase. And I use this pretty blue rickrack. And then this is the this is the tie that was just all one piece. Scrapbook paper here and a uh, book plate sticker. There's a recipe card, and this is a digital. This is an illustration from an old book, and I have it in digital form in my shop, or I used to. I removed a few of my digitals. 
Um, there's a fabric flip from Sarah. Again, we have pretty much the same elements. This is a sack that has some loyalty stamps and an image from an old catalog. It was a page of hats and various pieces for um, journaling. I'm going to set this right here. So I remember to go back in here and add a tab to that. Maybe I'll remember. I should probably send a few tabs with each book so you can add some of these colored tabs if you want to. Oops, that got bent. Oh, we've got a couple little tags in here because the big one wouldn't fit. I think this was a shorter envelope. There's another round playing card. This opens up for journaling. Here's the other fabric page that I used. And this was from a different book. The other one was Farm Animals. This one is Nursery Rhymes. So I had pages from two books. This is that practice typing page again, another one. And this one is reinforced with paper. Another paper clip that someone embellished and sent me in a happy mail. Some wallpaper here. Sarah's flip. This is a sack that has a lady playing a harp, and that's from a college yearbook also. This um, cherry paper is wrapping paper. This is a tag that's been in my shop, in my shop, in my stash for quite a while. I made that with my Cricut. I love this little piece of wallpaper that I've had. Um, that's, I only, only had a very small piece of it. I just love the color. Uh, wallpaper, a yearbook photo. Beautiful little postcard with forget-me-nots on it. And the back pocket on this one is feed sack fabric. I just glued that piece down to the back and then I sewed this one on as a pocket and to reinforce the top I added this piece of muslin, a strip of muslin and zigzag, or did a fancy stitch on it. And my signature is on the back of that card. This one is called House Wiring. And then we have Ready to Roll. This is one I just finished last night. I'm going to get a plant card out for it because I'm pretty sure I didn't put one in there. So this one, I tore this piece of pink fabric and it was long enough for the entire... I didn't have to piece it, but it was very plain. So I took some red polka dot and just sewed little patches onto the pink. So I think it looks really cute on when it's tied on there. Ready to Roll is a children's school book. Someone sent me this beautiful pocket in a Happy Mail and it had this patchwork. It's actually fake patchwork. Well, I don't know. I think the paper might be glued on in pieces, but then it's the, the stitches are drawn in marker, and it's done very, very nicely. 
I don't remember who sent this to me, but I, she had it tucked in here, but I sewed it on as, or glued it on as a pocket. So I put that in the back and added a card, colored index card in the front. This is a wallpaper decal that I've had in my stash, and it's on a wallpaper piece. And I also got this in a Happy Mail quite a long time ago, or a swap. I think maybe it was an ephemera swap. And it's a book. And uh, I'm not sure how it was done, printed or stamped, but she made a book out of it, so I took that in there. It's fun. It was fun getting into my stash, look at that cute little fabric flip, and using things that I've had for a long time. This is a tag that I made with, I don't know how I colored it, I don't remember. Might have been a jelly print and a stamp. That's a wallpaper pocket. This one has a paper clip with some beads hanging on it. Well, uh, wrapping paper. Stop and look at my watch. I'm supposed to go pick my grandsons up at about 11 o'clock. Don't want to forget them. It's 10:30. These I stamped and cut out. I needed tiny little things, but these were already in my stash, ready to go. This one is actually a sack that um, Colonel Sanders gives you with a cookie in it, and I've had it in my stash for a while. I never eat the cookie, but recently I thought, well, I should at least try it. So I tried it, and I did not like it. <laughs> so I don't eat the cookies. But I put little cards on it and then a time card inside. Um, chenille. This is a Holly Hobby playing card. And here is a Montgomery Ward dress again with a stamp and this piece came off of oh, I don't see it right here but the little Rolodex card that I stamped those Charlie Chaplin guys on a piece together patchwork um, scrapbook paper pocket that was too many words And this is from an old magazine or catalog. This is a tag that somebody sent me in a Happy Mail. It's very pretty. I love the um, all the colors of embroidery floss that she used to tie it with. This actually, I think I got this in a Happy Mail. And it was supposed to change color. It was a weather something. And you're we supposed to put it near the window or the door and it would turn colors. And I tried putting it by my window, but I think it's just too old and it didn't change color. This is a postcard of the City Hall and Fire Station in Sarah, Pennsylvania, which is on the other side of town from where I am, close to where my daughter lives wrapping paper, fabric flip. There's the cover of the Mother Goose fabric book. A 
bingo card instead of a quiz quizmo. And this one has a printable pocket that I've had in my stash for a long time. It's left over from a journal that I made years ago. So I put it in here. This is just a tag that a furniture store or something like that would use. And my signature's there. So I did not see one of these in here, so I'm going to stick it in there. If I remember, I'll go back in and paper clip it to a page. This one should have one. This is a um, shorthand book. And it's got two pieces of fabric pieced together. Yo-yos on the front to help brighten it up. And there was a, a white splotch on the front. And I put corners on this one because the corners were frayed. This is the oldest book cover in this set of books. I used this sturdy piece of fabric. And I'm going to go through this very quickly. This is a booklet somebody made me with cut off scraps of coffee dyed paper. Someone, someone made me this tag also and she sent me a couple sheets of paper that has that pretty little girl on it. Wallpaper cluster. I think this was actually the first book that I made in this series. This one has a pickle bag on it. Somebody sent that to me in a happy mail. It didn't it never had a pickle in it. It was a nice clean bag. It was so cute. And this is an image from a German magazine that somebody sent me. And again, it's got a piece from the Rolodex on there. There's some wallpaper here as a pocket. is a wallpaper pocket and this pocket has feed sack fabric in the back and a vintage library card or pocket here and I covered it because it was all marked up with scrapbook paper and added this little digital to it. It's got a little journaling card and a library card with my signature. So five journals are now in my shop. The This one is just going to be called Greg Shorthand. Greg Shorthand, House Wiring, Ready to Roll, Science Experiments, and Writing. They will all have their own listing, so you don't have to go choose one from a drop-down box. If you see the picture on the listing, you'll know that that is the journal that is in that listing. So, thanks for watching. It was a long flip through video, but there were a lot of journals here to go through. I had so much fun making this. I hope this inspires you to get out your stash and just throw it all in one journal and have fun with it. Let me know if you decide to do that. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.